always hear about how great sex is, but we rarely hear about the consequences that can come with sex, like STDs. So I'm going to explain what STDs are, how you can get them, how you don't get them, and how you can stay free of STDs. When two people have unprotected sexual contact, they are at risk for contracting an STD. When someone with lots of partners has unprotected sex, even if they only have a few partners, in time the whole community can become infected. Last summer, I met this girl, Sasha, and stupidly, we didn't use protection. A month later, Sasha calls me up and says she has chlamydia. I have to contact all my exes now. The problem is, we're both dating my friends. He gets chlamydia and I needed to get tested? And what if I test positive for it? I have to be the one to tell Cece? When Calvin called, it was awkward. He told me he was being treated for chlamydia. And that means that I might have it too. So Calvin has it. Cece and Ty might have it. What about me and Andre? Man, it seems like everyone we know here has chlamydia. Now, I gotta go get tested. I wish I would be more careful. Since STDs are transmitted through unprotected sex, abstinence is the best way to avoid getting STDs. You know, I just don't think I'm into her as she's into me. She acts like we've been dating for a year or something and we hardly know each other. Sounds like you're feeling a little uncomfortable. Yeah, very uncomfortable. Listen to me, okay? Jamal. Girls and guys don't often see things the same way. If you're just straightforward, you can often avoid a lot of miscommunication. I really like you a lot, but I'd rather get to know you better before being that intimate. I'm in no rush at all. <sighs> Thank you. <laughs> I'm so glad you said something. For the blue, for the gold, for the team.